Hello, hello there. We are back playing Automa Chef, and here's level 25 solution. Taste to die for. Oh my goodness. This one... This one was not a good time here. Robot, not today. So we got the bacon fries, we got that regular dopamine meal, the double bypass meal, and then the double dog. We got a lot going on here, and it was... It was something. So here we are. Using conveyors instead of teleporters, because why not? And we had to do a lot of configuring. So here's where the regular bacon fries are. On a regular dis dispensing time, the conveyor grill I put on a 15 second delay so it turns on and then it'll turn off as needed. So the bacon here, as soon as it's finished going through, then it'll, it'll shut off so it's not waiting for all of this to happen. So that's just seconds, you know, a couple seconds here and there, but it helps. So that's the bacon fries over there. Then we have over here the loaded cheese fries. Again, basically everything is on their standard. I did not put any high speed, so everything is five seconds. Then this guy, normal. Over here with the plain burger, it's normal. So all of these are on normal. So the main thing that's out of the ordinary, and I should mention, like this is one area over here so this is the everything is going over here into the double bypass then from here everything is going into the dopamine meal and finally the double dog meal double dog meal was nice and easy though because all we had to do was this and i am using just the regular fryer that could have been sped up with uh with one of the convection fryers but anyway the main thing i wanted to point out is that i'm turning off things as they're needed so on for the assembler the conveyor grill that was utilized here for these patties. We're not doing anything with that. As long as soon as the patty is through, it shuts off. And so looking at all these different conveyor grills and all of these things, you can see that I, power was a consideration throughout the entire setup, which is, you know, kind of a pain, but I have found that the convec convection grit, wow, convection fryers, <laughs> And the conveyor grills, they are power hungry things. So it meant that I had to put in additional things for them. There was no room to do anything else. Because normally if you're running out of energy or you're hitting the limit, you would want to dumb it down to just regular grills, regular fryers and such. And that's why I kept this one down here in the corner with the fryer. Uh, why I kept that one going with the fries. However, the amount that you save versus having an order reader versus powering off four devices or so, maybe three, depending on the device, it saves you a considerable amount of energy. And being that there's kind of a trickle of orders coming in, that kind of is what helped me kind of decide what I should be doing to improve the energy usage. Because I think the first run or two of these, I went straight over. I might have even hit like 25,000 energy use or something ridiculous like that. And that's again because there's so many different components to these meals. You end up needing so many machines that you use a lot of energy. And also there was no way I could really use teleporters here. It would have been kind of messy. So it just made sense to funnel everything into their respective packaging machine and just stick with it. Now the ingredients used didn't really factor in here, like, not too much anyway. All the meals are pretty self-contained, and if I remember right, there weren't too many orders beyond the amount that you needed to deliver. I will say once, one thing I did to try to save time here while making the Extreme Burger, which was the most ingredient-intensive burger that you can get, I ended up using three different arms to deliver all the different ingredients because over here we have two, the potato and egg being dispensed over here. And if I'm seeing this right, oh that egg is going that way. Which ones am I looking at? Ah, the, this bacon and egg. Those are going that way, which is wild. This patty is going straight in there. And then this is getting the bun and the tomato and the cheese. 
So yeah, three arms to try to get those ingredients in as quickly as possible because I, the manufacturing time is kind of considerable here. Uh, the other intense thing about this was that I had to use and modify. This was the first level where I figured out I had to change the pump settings and how frequently by how many milliliters this thing had to go over. So once we end here, I'll back out and I will show you real quick that. But yeah, the extreme burger uses a lot of mayo. Eventually you're fine, right? Because you can you can see that we're at 600 and it's not refueling. There's a starting amount by liters that I think a regular one will be two and a half if it's 50% and that's the default. And the other that you can use is five liters or something like that. So we're gonna go back in here and I will show you real quick. At the beginning, we're using 20 and five and so eventually that runs out. So with this, if you didn't wanna run out, you'd start at five liters and that'd be fine. But thankfully it keeps up. So that's all we need from that. Uh, if I'm looking around, I don't think there were any other settings that were out of the ordinary here. So that is it. Hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, please throw the video a like. Consider subscribing. That would be appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. But for now, I will see you in the next one.